innovation has never been faster. Um, and in fact, if you look at the underlying statistics, productivity growth is doing pretty well. Productivity levels are at an all-time high, and in the 2000s, productivity growth was faster than it was in the 1990s, which was a great decade. On the other hand, you have the median worker doing worse. worse. And the median household and the median worker in the United States has lower income today than in 1997. What's more, the employment to population ratio has fallen. It's almost like falling off a cliff. And similar things are visible in the OEC statistics for nations around the world. And that is exactly the great paradox of our era. Now, the way that, that we came about to resolve that is to make a, a, a key observation, and that is that there is no economic law that says that technological progress needs to benefit everybody, or even that it needs to benefit a majority of people. It's entirely possible for technology to advance, make the pie bigger, and yet for some people to get a smaller share of that pie. And in essence, that's what's been happening, um, especially in the past 10 or 15 years. Historically, productivity and employment and median income have all grown together. And I recently wrote an article called The Great Decoupling, where you see how these trends map each other all through the, the 20th century, and then they start separating um, in the late 1990s in particular. So from the, that data, it does appear that we're in a new era um, in that um, these technologies are behaving differently. In fairness, um, technology has always been uh, creating jobs and it's always been destroying jobs. Um, go back uh, to 1800 and on the order of 90% of Americans work on farms. Now it's less than 2%. Of course, all those people didn't just become unemployed as technology automated threshing. Those um, jobs were replaced by new jobs. Um, Henry Ford helped create the auto industry. Uh, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and many others helped create the computer industry. And uh, numerous other occupations rose up that we never could have thought of before. Um, and so people move from one area to another. You'd like to see that happening again now, um, but the data show that it, it just isn't happening as fast. We're having the automation, the job destruction. We're not having the the creation at the same pace. Uh, there's no guarantee that we'll be able to find these new jobs. It may be that, that machines are, are better than that. Um, that said, I'm not sure that's a bad thing because ultimately the purpose of economic progress and technological progress is to be able to create more wealth with less work. I mean, isn't that what we want? More wealth with less work? So if we are in a, a Star Trek economy where, where replicators create all the essentials that we need, that doesn't have to be a bad thing if we can have an economic system that matches to it and finds a way that, that people can share in that benefit. And people can still continue to find meaning and, and value in life. And uh, we may, in, in the coming decades, need, need to be, may be confronted with that question of how we create an economic system that is adapted and changed as rapidly as our technological system has changed.